Hello, hello, hello. Hashtag Mum's Keto Kitchen. Um, how are you doing? Um, gonna do a little bit of a Friday night treat. So, I have done really well this week. I think I must have lost, oh, I don't know, um, about four pounds. So, quite happy with that. Hello Pete Walker, how are you? Thank you for hopping on. I'm still trying to, um, I'm still trying to clothe myself. Which is, um, it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> okay, so then, what are you guys up to on a Friday night? And where, what is your go-to snack? Um, I haven't done these before, actually, I'm, I'm telling Fibs, because I did, I did, I did them today on a TikTok live, but I haven't done them before, before that. I just, you know what I'm like, I just wanted to make sure that, um, that they're going to be suitable for us. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to prepare my face. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna use, okay? Now, you guys have, seen me use these before. These are my Lodo. Um, they are 38 calories each, so even if you're not keto, hi Jessica, hello Elaine, thank you for hopping on. Even if you are not keto, 38 calories. I mean, I had one of these for my lunch uh, with a tuna melt, and I, well, I, I emptied it all into Carb Manager yesterday. I used a whole tin of tuna, I used um, three ounces of mozzarella cheese, three cherry tomatoes, and two tablespoons. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Two tablespoons of um, of mayonnaise, and it was too much. So I ended up only having um, half of that quantity. So I literally had I don't know because I'm, I'm counting calories as well as doing keto this week, just to just to kind of uh, mix it up a little bit. If I'm honest. Tell me, are you guys, anybody out there keto? I know Jessica, you are doing really well with your keto. What about you guys? What about Elaine? Are you, have you come over from one of the keto groups? Um, if you are interested in this really quick, easy, banging, delicious, tasty, sweet treat, um, then I would love it if you shared me out. Maybe into one of your, um, into one of your other keto groups. Of course, I've got my own keto group called Mum's Keto Kitchen. About one or two of you may have already heard about. And this, oh, do you know, that's gonna come down here, hasn't it? Let's just tuck my little bobo thing in. Um, Mum's Keto Kitchen, that's me. Um, so, all I'm gonna do is this 38 calorie flat, flatbread low dough, okay, which I get from, from my friends, um, Infinite Nutrition in Birkenhead, which is very close to where I live, Oxton Road, um, great guys in there. And I'm putting about two tablespoons of melted butter into that. And all that I'm gonna do is I am going to place that onto the hob. I don't know whether you can see that there. Um, give it a little bit of a mix. And I want, I want, a, nice, I want a nice dip with this. So keto and counting diab diabetic is taken to a 1200 calorie a day. Well done, Dawn. How are you finding it? Um, how long have you been on keto and are you checking your bloods? I actually did my bloods on a, was it a TikTok or I don't know, on Facebook or something the other day. And I, um, I was delighted because I was off the monitor. I think anything above a nine or above an eight on my blood test monitor, um, it just says hi. So I was, I was delighted. I know that I'm definitely fat adapted now. And that can take several months when you're doing keto. Um, but I, I have been having two um, exogenous ketones a day. But even, even then, you know, I'm just, I, I, I sometimes wondered whether I was absolutely fat adapted. I think it still takes time for your body to, to switch over so that you're actually uh, using um, your fat for glucose. Right, so whilst my, I'm sorry, I am, I am, oh dear, my, my handily thing's um, fallen off my, 
my lamp stand. So not sure what's gonna go, go wrong next. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so I am going to use my, my new food mixer. Um, I'm confused because I've turned the camera around the other way. Um, so Dawn, have you done your bloods? How much do you, do you need to lose? I've lost 230 pound um, so far. And I, um, I've been doing this particular diet for about 11 months now. So I've lost about 75 pound. So I'm using half a cup of my cream cheese and all I wanna do is start mixing that quite slowly. I've got some, some powdered sweetener here. Been really good for a few weeks, running 30 kilometers a week, blood this morning, 6.3. Fantastic. So is that your diabetes bloods or is that your ketone level blood? Um, let me know. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of my powdered sweetener into there. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of um, vanilla extract. Oh no, that's not vanilla, that's orange. But that's Sicilian lemon. Doesn't matter. We, it, I'm quite happy with whatever flavour. Okay, so. This is starting to get nice and hot now. I just need to lose a stone. Been keto on and off for a couple of years, but find it hard. You find it hard to stick to permanently. Yeah. Well, you see, that's why. That's why I use. That's why I use the ketones. Hello, Wendy Geary. How are you? I think you may be having a visitor soon. Um, yeah. So, um, but don't worry, everybody. It's a visitor in the bubble, and it's got four legs. Going for a walkie. Uh, diabetic blood's 4.6 before dinner last night. Okay. Well, actually, that's interesting because my mum is Wendy Geary. And Wendy Geary's just above you there. And um, she's diabetic. And since she's been on the keto diet and she's been using our ketones, she has halved her insulin levels. So you can confirm that, mum. Unless, in fact, that isn't mum. And it's actually my daughter who's with her at the moment. I do not know. Hello, Carol. Hello, Laurie. I am still faffing about with my camera stand because I need you to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm literally going to just fry these. They are the low dose, 38 calories, and that's 2.2 carbs per, um, per wrap. I made a tuna cheese, uh, cheese melt with it today. I've made pizzas with it. You can make quiches with it. And they are just absolutely banging yummy. Okay, so in here I've got my cream cheese. Now, I'm going to just swap my, my doodah here. And I'm going to put my whisk on because I want some double cream to go into this now. So, I'm going to go in with probably about half a cup. You can, you can weigh this all out carefully if you so choose to do so. I'm dirty, I'm dirty lazy keto, um, but actually I am Carly, 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 no I'm, I'm not Carly, I'm calorie counting at the moment. Okay, um, so just make sure that these don't get too well done and burnt, which is my, which is my usual trick for a situation like this, especially when we're going live. And all I'm gonna do is I am going to coat these in some cinnamon and some sweetener. Hello, Anna. Where are you guys coming from? And where, how did you find me? Hello, Jeff, I know, I know that you always find me, you follow me. Anybody else who's out there who is following me, Bless you and thank you. I love that support. It makes my journey so much easier. And I've still got another £85 to go. Um, so doing this with you guys, keeping 
keeps me super focused, super motivated and super interested in what I'm doing. Um, so I never, I never get the chance to get bored of my keto diet because I'm always trying to find something interesting to show you. Um, because I don't, I don't know whether that's the difference this time and the fact that it's so much easier because I use my ketones. I don't know. Now, um, so here are my little doodles, my but, 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 but my low dose, 38 calories, each 2.2. Minnesota, USA. Dawn, you're a fiddle player. Was in Birkenhead, but now Anglesey. You play fiddle? Wow, is that how we, are we friends? Do we know each other? Because I'm a musician. In fact, I run a, a Celtic um, folk band and a Celtic music academy. And um, I'm also a trained concert pianist. So there you go, if you didn't know who I was and what I do. That's what I am and what I do. So lovely to um, speak to a fiddler. Um, Jeff always says good morning to me, so good morning. Renee, Renee Kitty de Looney. That's a fantastic name. Um, okay, so now I have got in here a tablespoon of powder sweetener and two teaspoons, two heap teaspoons as well. Um, so it's probably more than two teaspoons, probably two and a half teaspoons of my cinnamon. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that onto the Give it a little bit of a mix, give it a shake. Now, we could, we could go quite fancy and we could pipe. In fact, let's, let's do that. Let's do fancy because we've got time to do fancy because this is so quick, so simple, <clears throat> such a lovely recipe. And I'm just fiddling below you because I'm looking for my piping doodah, this thingy. And I'm also going to show you what I'm doing for tea. Hi, Sean. Sean's another one of my dear friends who is so supportive, always sends me words of encouragement. So, I am going to just pipe this into a nice fancy glass. Oh, that's not cut quite, quite enough. If you're finding any value in this, please share me out. Um, if we're not friends already, please send me a friend request. Always happy to make more friends. That's still rubbish. <laughs> oh, technical issues. So sorry. Looks terribly unprofessional, but then you know what? I am not a professional chef. It's just little old me. Little old me. Uh, I don't get paid for it, so it's a bonus. This is all free. <laughs> Okay, let's try. Okay, there we go. So I've also got some, some nice blueberries that I'm gonna mix into it that I've already um I've already washed. And this is what my my cream cheese dip is looking like. And sometimes I mean, this basic recipe, sometimes I add a packet of my ketones. I added a blueberry. I was going to make, actually, a uh, Guyana here. Caribbean, love watching your show. Oh, thank you so much. What's the weather like in the Caribbean just now? Um, I was going to make a blueberry acai cheesecake that you may have seen a picture for last week. Um, but um, my oven's packed in. <laughs> Hello, Bev. And I'm not sure whether it's uh, anything that I normally do. Somebody was quite alarmed one day when they saw one of my, one of my antics. Because um, I normally throw a bit of water in. Um, when, if I'm baking a, a cake of some description, I'll, I'll chuck some water in. Because I like it to, to get the puffy, the puffy way. Now, I'm not sure whether that is simply because... Um, my mummy has an auger and I'm used to kind of, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Oh, anyway, that's what I do. Right, so I am going to do some, some fancy piping. Not so fancy, actually. Just want it to look pretty. Okay. And I'm going to put some blueberries. You could put some chocolate chips in it. You could do what you like. 
okay and I am going to share this tonight if we watch a little bit of TV or something if other people are having snacks maybe I don't know this is my snack what do you think shall we give it a go shall I try it okay So nice, so so nice. Mm. 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 Oh wow, Wendy Geary. If you're watching and you didn't know what to do with your Lodo, but you weren't very keen on the Lodos, Mum, were you? She doesn't really like wraps, my Mum, but she does like sweet treats. Mmm. Mmm. Jessica. Seriously. It's so good. I actually don't think I would share this with anybody. <laughs> I think this is definitely mine. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Guys. If you know somebody who's hungry for sweet things, I mean, you know, let's 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 think about it. Double cream, okay. Even if you're on, even if you're on a, a low-fat diet, you can use a little bit of double cream and count for it. The cream cheese I use full fat because I am keto. You could use half fat cream cheese. Use the sweetener. Use the vanilla extract. 39 calories for your chorizo sweetener. There's very few calories in this. I will work it out. I'll put the recipe in the comments or in the in the title. Um, and if you would share it out, I would be really grateful. If you are not following me already, then you'll see that there's a little red box up here if it's if I'm live. Um, so drop in the comments, uh, number one, if you're live, and number two, if you're watching me on the replay. Um, and yeah. Um, if we're not friends already, why not? Um, I will be happy. Hi, Claire. What's the dough you're using? It's low dough, Claire. Let me just show you. Um, it's this stuff. Okay, it's original low dough. 38 calories, 2.2 carbs um, per piece. You can make really gorgeous wraps. You can make really gorgeous pizzas. Um, and of course, you know, with being keto like you and I are, Claire, you can really pile the cheese on because cheese is fine for us. But this is, um, this is really quite delectable. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, it's one of those kind of sharing things. Um, but I, I'm not really sure that I would, would want to share that with anybody. I will though, because I'm kind that way. And I'm sharing the recipe with you guys later. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Are you excited that it's Friday night? Um, I'm very excited it's Friday night. I've got the most amazing training all day tomorrow. If you don't know of him already, look him up on YouTube. Um, his name is Joseph McClendon III. And he is um, he's described as the endurance expert. Um, and I was really lucky enough to do some training, uh, well, massive amount of training. I did the Unleash the Power Within with Tony Robbins earlier in the year. And uh, Joseph McClendon III was, was doing a lot on there as well. So I was just smitten. Um, and yeah, I had a very spiritual awakening um, through that, uh, that training. And so, yeah. So that's what I'm doing over the weekend. I've got a really great training tonight as well with my team at the Empire. Um, so I'm, I'm all excited for that. So I'm all geared up, actually. Um, yeah, so this is going to be coming in with me, with my training, I should think. Um, because, yeah, I was thinking it'd be nice to watch a movie with it. But uh, how better than to, to train, to educate your mind, expand your horizon, improve your, um, your future dream big baby 
because it's a big world out there. Um, hiya, Callie. And yeah, if you've only just topped on now, I've made the most gorgeous little cinnamon stick, um, um, little, oh, what, what, what would you call them? Um, well, cinnamon sticks, really. They are cinnamon sticks with this gorgeous um, dippy cream, cheesy, uh, creamy, mm, vanilla-y gorgeousness. Um, mm. I'll put the recipe below again later. Love you all. See you later. Claire, send me a message. Let me know how you're getting on. Jessica, you too. And um, thank you for watching. Love you.